right? We have oh, like you're counting her? No. Oh, well, Mary Beth, does that count? Because it's yeah. only four. That's only four. Yeah. Here. But we already have. We don't have five. What else online? We need five for a quorum. Robin, I'm know. here, Robin. Okay, Robin thank you. All right, we're going then. We're good. Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All righty then. Roll call, please. Mr. Boba. I am here. This is Sarucci. I'm here. <laughs> Mrs. Delaney. Mrs. Delaney. Not here. No. Mrs. McBride. She's not here. Miss Mungo. Here. Mr. Ritter. Dr. Singh. Here. Mrs. Warning. Here. Is anybody else logged on? I just did roll call. Or Zoom. I'm going to text John. He I don't know if he was convinced. Yeah, did he tell anyone he might not be here? Oh, no, no. I'll call him. He might be swimming. It looks like Leslie McBride is on. Oh, Leslie? Yeah, I am here. Yes. Okay. Hey, great. Thank you. All right, no comments from <laughs> residents because, you know, no residents. Nobody's there. Let's move on to the personnel agenda. The personnel agenda. Uh, we have some action items for tonight. Uh, Turn it over to Andrea. Absolutely. Uh, we have reservation of Patricia Brown, paraprofessional from Mossside Middle School, along with a leave of absence request for um, employee number 77 at Mossside Middle. And additionally, we come to the board with a formal re recommendation for the principal at CSE of Serene Bay, and then a substitute food service worker that has been identified and vetted by um, both Patty and Martin in the food in the food service department. Uh, we also have three positions that we'd like to request approval <coughs> for. Those positions include a technology and learning coach. Uh, the intent for this role is to help support the educational process of the technology that the district has invested in and increase our return on investment with those products. Um, we have a physical education teacher opening that we would like to move forward with as well between CSE and Ramsey. Um, the class sizes have increased significantly and at this time we've been splitting classes into multiple groups to be able to attend specials. So this would alleviate that stress. Um, and then additionally with CSE they have an increase in special need numbers at this time. So they have requested a long-term sub to be uh, utilized for the second semester of this year to help accommodate students. Okay. Uh, additionally, we have supplementals as emailed out a few weeks ago. Um, they said this is a formal recommendation. Patty's been working towards getting everyone's clearances in, so we're making progress as always. And then uh, also volunteers. Mrs. Delaney's on as well. Okay. All right. I'm sorry, guys. Anything else? You can see that there's um, a job description for the technology and learning coach. Right. Behind this agenda. So right here, a motion to. Uh, motion. Motion made. Seconded by Dr. Singh. Do we have any questions? You start, Ms. Warning. I start. Um, yes, for the long-term special ed teacher, um, we're looking at CSE. Where at CSE are we going to put this classroom? I do not have that information, but I can get that for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what we had a discussion with Heather and the full intent was not divulged, just the simple need that there's an increase in special needs and we are incapable of meeting the need right now. Okay, are we looking to have this position ASAP or with the start of the, the C, um, new semester? The intent was start of new semester. Okay. So where is this teaching done now? You're, you're saying it as if in a way that makes it sound like there's there's no place to do this education right now. I can speak on that. 
currently right now the teachers are working with the students um, as we look at students that are currently in the process of being identified and as we've seen some move in students we also know that potentially there will be additional students uh, that will require special education services so this position uh, would be to start the second semester um, i just want to assure everyone that the students that are currently receiving the support do have special education teachers there working with those students Are they going to require pairs in this classroom? Those are things that we'll have to look at those individual education plans to determine those specific needs. Okay, thank you. So the description of long-term special ed, have we had uh, employees before with this description, long-term? Yes. Yes, this is um, looking at a just a permanent substitute teacher for the remainder of the second semester. Okay. Any other questions? Dr. Singh, Robin Mungo. So the, um, the, the technology and learning coach, so right now there is no such person. Correct. So this, this technology that you've referenced and devices that we have at the moment, they're being utilized to any extent or Yes, perhaps I could have uh, Dr. Rossi provide a little bit more input about this. That would be lovely. Mm -hmm. We've we had uh, a full-time technology coach. It was a couple years prior to COVID, but it was grant-funded. was grant funded. Um, But now with the influx of technology, we're essentially, we are a one-to-one. -one. We have over 4,000 devices. Um, every curriculum piece we have um, essentially touches a software program that is connected. Um, so we, we really need some job embedded coaching, professional development, and training to, to really it, utilize these programs and devices we have to, to their fullest potential. In service days, you know, we have what, four, three or four a year. That's kind of one and done. We really need some, something <coughs> working with the teachers, co-planning, and, and doing those sorts of things to, to really get the technology to, to use it effectively as we can. And we also um, factored in that this position uh, essentially would be close to a net zero cost. Uh, we have a retirement uh, in a media specialist over here at uh, Mossad Middle School, Karen Cassicelli, and uh, we'd be looking to fill that person with a long-term substitute and, of course, a difference in salary there. Uh, and then uh, whoever may bid on his position, of course, would have a long-term sub. So uh, the salary potentially would be almost a net zero. Okay. And tell us about the um, principal. I'm sure there'll be lots of questions about how many people did you interview, how many responded. Why don't you give us that kind of rundown? Round one, I believe we interviewed five or six candidates. Mm -hmm. No, four, sorry. We had four candidates that we, or no, five, because we had one towards the end. Sorry, five, misspoke. So we had five round one candidates, and then we moved forward with three for round two. And Miss Bay was our only candidate that proceeded to round three. So she uh, must have had a pretty good uh, chance at that point. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but. That was, um, that was a joke, Heather. Yeah, I know. Uh, she was by herself. You know, I, I can't say, and I, I know Dr. Rossi was in there as well, that. Uh, uh, she, she brings some valuable experience um, coming from Penn Hills. Uh, we, we did do some reference checks, uh, reached out to the superintendent there, and uh, 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 almost, uh, I'm not going to say in tears, but very upset that uh, they would be losing this individual from Penn Hills. Did they give a release date on her by chance? Not yet. Uh, typically, after uh, the individual is hired, I would reach back to uh, Dr. Hines at Penn Hills and discuss this. Okay, any other questions? Um, I just want to comment because I did watch those interviews and I think she had a lot to bring and a lot of good responses as me not being an educator, I understood what she was saying and, and her, her vision and her knowledge. Excellent. Anything else? Bonnie? Mrs. Cerucci. Mary Beth, Mrs. Cerucci. Hang on. Oh. I think I'm on mute. <laughs> okay. Hi. 
Mrs. Delaney? Mrs. Delaney? Aye. Mrs. McBride? Aye. Ms. Mungo? Aye. Ms. Mr. Ritter? John says aye. Dr. Singh? Aye. Mrs. Warning? Aye. And Mr. Butler? Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. What else you got, Dr. Short? That is all we have for tonight. I have a section oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking right at it. Right at it. Come on, man. I was going through the job description thing, and that was the last item. Yeah, we got an administrative report. There we go, administrative report. Uh, Dr. Rossi, you want to take? Uh, I'm sorry, no, Mike. Dr. Rossi yeah. doesn't want to. Yeah, he don't want to touch that. Uh, he don't want to touch that change order. Step. Step with my energy. Thank you, Dr. Short. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Item one, approval of change orders, Gateway Middle School renovation project construction fund for the 22-23 fiscal year. Approve the change orders for Shipley Plumbing Company, a total net amount of $41,280.90, as depicted below. Description of the work, replace double combo water fountain sinks with individual water fountains per Allegheny County. Total net change order, $41,280.90. Note, the total change orders, if the, if the above change order is approved, the net change order for Gateway Middle School Renovation Project will be $2,279,096.04. Item two, approve the approval of the installation of new metal doors at the Gateway High School door opening number 22. Funds coming from the fund balance general fund for the 22-23 fiscal year. Award the bid of installation of a new metal door at the Gateway High School door opening number 22 to AG Morrow Company. Includes hardware, special hollow metal door and frame, and the installation total bid price installed is $15,630. Item three, approval of the installation and repair of a new metal doors at the Gateway Sports Compact funds coming from the fund balance general fund for the 22-23 fiscal year. Award the bid for the installation and repair of door openings 5, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 at the Gateway Sports Complex to AJ Morrow Company. Includes hardware, special hollow metal doors and frame and installation. Total bid price installed is $66,860. Thank you, Mike. Just for clarification purposes, um, the, the, the first change order regarding the water fountains. Uh, Mike, do you want to elaborate on this a little bit? That essentially, it's it was spec. It was spec. Uh, pretty much from what I, from my gather, the architects dropped the ball, and it should have been originally single fonts with, with code and everything else. Mm -hmm. That's why we this this was a law when the architects designed this. Is there any chance that he designed it prior to? The COVID change about water fountains. Otherwise, he just like he missed this, and it's another forty thousand dollars. Yeah, he missed it. So where is this going to the picture? Right, right. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, let me interrupt one second, Doctor Singh. We actually need a motion first. Oh, sorry. Right. Motion made and second. Okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. So I was wondering, um, so is it in the foyer or where physically located in the These are essentially all of the water. All the water, right. That would be installed. Talking? I see. And uh, prior to COVID, you were allowed to come in. So, right. I, I do not have that. I do not have any. I just have the, t the, yeah, the total amount to switch. The summer, I have the summer. Can you find out how many sure. paths we're looking at? Yeah. So you're saying I mean, what, essentially, you can yeah. system water fountain mm -hmm. with um, the spigot, right? And then or maybe, the water fountain. yeah, and a uh, thermos bottle filler. Mm -hmm. uh, code now, post COVID, is just essentially one water filler. So you're not allowed to have the two. Mm -hmm. So you have to switch out all the spec as two. <laughs> Getting less. Excuse, excuse me, hey, hey, Jack Bova. 
this yes. is John Ritter. Listen, I'm pulled over right now in transit. I'm going to vote I on this in case I'm, you know, traveling when you call the vote. My vote's going to have been I, okay? Thank you. Gotcha. So are they all um, ADA? They would be, yes. Yes, yes. absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, question five. Two and three. Um, two, you're showing one door at fifteen thousand, and three, you're showing nine doors, which comes down about seventy four hundred a piece. What's the difference in these doors? Oh, I can answer that one. <laughs> I mean, we've seen the the doors, right? The door number twenty two is the one that, right. you know, which is a much more much more involved double entry with the whole glass panel around it. The others are just standard steel hollow doors that are the ones outside. Yeah, we're you know, they were starting to get a little rusty and crusty at the bottom. Right. You took the pictures and look what happened, Ms. Warning. Ms. Warning, look what happened after you took the pictures. Well. You know what, since we're talking about doors, um, I, I don't think it's on here. So, do you remember what the door was at, um, it was this, this building, a door wouldn't open from a right. room? 21. Door 21, that is not on here. That's, um, I talked to Dave, and Dave said it was the knob that he sent down the maintenance Inside to fix this it. Building, well. Inside this uh, building, Inside Mossside Middle. It was back in the band area. Classroom door. Mm -hmm. They had an Alice drill and couldn't get out. Don't say that. And Bob told me today it is fixed. Okay. All right, excellent. Any more questions about doors or land or water fountains? Well, I think uh, I wish it said drinking water fountain because it's much more clear. I thought there would be a fire going water outside. Mm -hmm. and, you know? It'd be nice to have a fountain out there. <laughs> it would be lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Similar to Monroeville Mall, they still have the fountains. Just, <laughs> yeah, let's just yeah, there you go. Let's see the down to the creek. Why not? Why don't you just get all the time? We have the blank one outside the gate for you. middle now. That's a wild one now. Then you got some fish in the gator in it. There you go. I like that. Yes. It might be cheaper to get everybody a bottle of water. <laughs> All right, any other questions? No. Roll call, please. Mrs. Delaney. Mrs. Delaney. Aye. Mrs. McBride. Aye. Ms. Mungo. Aye. John Ritter. He said aye already. Aye. Dr. Singh. Aye. Mrs. Warning. Aye. Mr. Bova. Aye. And Mrs. Sarucci. Aye. Beautiful. Anything else? Comments from residents? Hilarious. Is that it? That's it. Motion to adjourn. Moved. Moved and second. All in favor say aye. Thank you all. Have a great Christmas. Yep. Merry Christmas.